Thank you for joining the Penn State University graduate exhibition. My name is Margarita Hernandez, my pronouns are she, her, hers, and I am a PhD candidate in the Department of Anthropology at Penn State. Today, I will be sharing my dissertation project entitled Noventa Millas, or 90 Miles, Genomics, Migration History, and Health Disparities Within Cuban Immigrants and Cuban Americans in Miami, Florida. I will begin with some background information for my project. My research is focused on understanding how the social determinants of health influence the presence and prevalence of disease. A large body of literature within public health and anthropology shows that our external environment in the form of economic stability, access to healthcare, educational opportunities, and so much more can be linked to instances of disease. The World Health Organization in 2008 published an article on the social determinants of health stating that there is a need to examine the embedded societal causes to understand the basic causes of disease. My research work specifically focuses on the social determinants of health within Hispanic slash Latinx people in the United States. Latinx folks are one of the largest demographics in the US and along with Asians and Asian Americans, one of the fastest growing demographics. As this chart implies, we are often treated as a monolith, where our histories and experiences are obscured often for the sake of simplicity. Although not malicious, this can prevent us from understanding our specific needs as it relates to combating adverse health. Latinx folks are so diverse in our ancestries, racial and ethnic diversity, lived experiences, and so much more. We are so rich in our histories, and my dissertation aims to both explore this diversity to break down the stereotype that we are all the same, while also investigating if these differences are associated with different health outcomes. For my dissertation, I am specifically working with my community of Cubans that migrated to the United States after the 1959 Cuban Communist Revolution. Cuban immigrants came to the United States in four distinct migration waves, the first two on the left being early Cuban exiles and the freedom flighters, which happened from the late 1950s through the 1970s, and the last two coming from the port of Mariel and through clandestine migration from the 1980s through the 1990s. Cubans from the first two migration waves were welcomed in the US with open arms and were the recipients of the Cuban Refugee Program, one of the most successful programs to help migrants migrants succeed in the United States. This was heavily contrasted by later immigration waves that did not have the same access to economic opportunities as earlier migrants and experienced racial and ethnic discrimination from both the Cuban community and US born individuals. For my dissertation, I'd like to dispel the myth that Latinx folks are a monolith by exploring ancestral history within Cubans and specifically the context of migration and if there are discernible patterns in ancestry across migration waves. Additionally, I am exploring if the social context of migration produces, produces discernible patterns of health among uh, migration waves. My research methodology includes conducting my field work in Miami, Florida, and specifically in the Little Havana area, which has the largest concentration of individuals of Cuban descent within the United States. I am collecting DNA samples from 30 individuals across each migration wave and working closely with two companies that will generate ancestral profiles to be used for understanding diversity and ancestry and also return to participants. I am also conducting surveys and interviews with those same participants to better understand their overall health and relate this to their narratives of arrival, experiences of discrimination, and social context in general. Due to the COVID-19 pandemic, my data collection has been delayed by eight months, and although I do not have results to present at this moment, I have already begun the process of recruiting, recruiting individuals for my study and hope to be able to share results soon. Overall, my research contributes to our understanding of the variation in ancestral history and life experiences of, of individuals of Cuban descent. With a specific focus on the social determinants of health that often include instances of racism, poverty, income inequality, and the presence or absence of social justice and immigration policies that have the potential to exacerbate or alleviate adverse health. This work can, better, can help us better generate policies and social support systems that can minimize health inequalities for the betterment of all marginalized people living in the United States. Thank you so much, and I'm happy to take any questions.